When I ask my dad, where are you from? I'm from Atapupu, he said. I didn't know what that meant, but uh, for years, maybe 10 or 15 years, I didn't know where my father came from. Eventually, he grew up and met my mother in Oisao or in Kupang. And that's the only thing I know about Timor. So Timor for me is, uh, a, was a long time for me a big mystery. And uh, I discovered that for still for a lot of people, Timor is still a mystery. So when I met Felix, I knew that the story should be about Timor because Felix told me that the history in Timor is often read in a wrong way because uh, the news was coming from Jakarta or from, from other places except from Timor. And that might be true because I don't know many stories from the people of its place. So it was obvious to me to make this story about Timor. That's why I gave a camera to Felix. I made him a photographer and uh, um, during the process I didn't know what he was experiencing and what he was and what it was like to meet those people and to hear those stories and to document it. Um, my role was only to give him advice on the pictures, um, but I knew while seeing those pictures there is a big family story uh, behind those pictures and I hope this uh, shines through the pictures and people will see them uh, and also see, get to know them so you can see their faces behind those stories. And um, in my opinion, Felix did a terrific job um, because this whole project, I always believed that every family story is a brick of the national history. My name is Felix Nesi. I'm a writer from West Timor, and I also uh, teach in several school in Kupang, and I'm running a small bookshop because this little war in Timor make a big change in Timor. Why you, we we interest to to take photos of them because. Um, because in 1999 and after that, I see that people sometimes people sometimes they get forgotten, like the newspaper newspaper never talk about them, and in our daily lives we just we never talk about them. We think that they are. In other way, they are a victim of the war, but they are forgotten. About 1999, it's like a war and army is there from Kupang to Dili, and they just sometimes, what to say, and they hit everyone. They run so fast and the other people in the street have to move far away. And so many people lose on their, that accident. Since I was a kid, I heard the story about them. But the story is like, people just talk about them. People just like, oh, yesterday someone get hit in there or there. And yeah, we just, we just forget about it. And when Armando and I, we talk about this project, I put something on, on Facebook and people, there are so many interested and they told me another story about another family in this, in this city and this village and etc. I met some family and some other families don't want to join this project. They don't want to be photographed. Uh, I don't really know what's the problem but they look so so scared and they just like 
no no we we don't we, we we don't want to it's the past and the past is the past we don't want to talk about that i meet a lady this lady is uh she is she she just married uh two years and she had two kids the little one is like just like three months and her husband get hit by the convoy um, some people see it show it but but the army is not admitted this lady go to the police go to the police military but no one and she don't have any witness because people don't want to talk about it people told him that they see it but but they don't want to talk to the police or to the police military they don't want to be the the, the witness in the court so this lady uh, his husband's family blame he blame her for the the accident and they just took her her child the old one the bigger one and they don't want to they don't want her to to show this boy again so in uh, four years later she even have to go to the court just for the the right uh, her her right for for the for for his for her kid she now live alone with her two kids and she raised them and she even work hard and send them to the college but yeah she's a very tough lady i try to talk her the project and when i mention about her husband she thinks that i came to admit uh, she said that oh it's good someone came to admit it and and i will fix my, my relationship with my mother-in-law and my husband's family and it's good they will not blame me again for this case but then i told her my intention my project she was a little bit disappointed but she later she let me see it and tell me the story and she she she's just like okay i told you the story but just write it in the good way the past is the past i will tell you but but please write it uh, nicely sometimes they say that the past is the past it's just because they are too too hard it's too hard to talk about it um but i was i was talking about this this man he was just standing there and he just he just like i am a driver too when i i go out from my house i never intend to hit someone so i know that they never intend to hit my child it's okay he just say like that and yeah i think he's he's moving forward so much people you know they just they don't want to they don't even want to talk about it they just say the past is the past and don't ever talk about it uh they looking forward but the heart is still the the, the wound is still there i know that